All right, here we go. Another edition of Lifestyles of the Fit and Healthy. <laughs> I love that title. I'll see if I'll change the zoom on this a little bit. Just a little bit. Yep, so I'll be working on chest today and uh, just keep it moving forward. Uh, that's what it's all about lifestyle. So I encourage you guys uh, again, take my one month challenge. All right, I'm gonna post it with this video so you guys don't have to remember the details. Uh, so I'll post it with this video and just do it, you know, one month, try it. You know, go for it. You know, you could do it. You don't have to wait until the beginning of the month. Just pick a day. You know, today's Monday. So start today and then you just go to this same date next month and that'll be one month. And I'm telling you, you're going to see results. And um, I've been getting results, uh, like I said before, maybe like a month ago. Um, I had this MyNet Diary Calorie Calculator app for Android and I've been eating more calories trying to increase my calories uh, so I am seeing a little more growth as uh, far as muscle um, the weight gain hasn't been an issue uh, I think I weighed myself yesterday I was like 170 uh, so I've been fluctuating between like 169 170 every now and then I might be 171 so uh, so I know that the gains that I'm getting is, is muscle gain versus fat, uh, because even though you increase your calories, you don't you, you don't want it to be fat calories or junk food. You still want to eat healthy. You're just eating more. So when bodybuilding, you just have to eat more food um, in order to give your body more material to work with in order to uh, cause growth. So it's so important. So. Again, I'm still filling it out. I'm not an expert on any of this stuff. Um, but, you know, I've made it a lifestyle and I feel great. You know, at 49, I think I'm doing pretty well. Um, I thank God for His grace every day to give me the strength to do what I do in this basement. Uh, I'm usually here by myself. There's no one here helping me. Um, and the program I'm using uh, at time, you know, I don't have to worry about, you know, I don't use a bar as far as bench pressing, so I don't have to worry about the bar falling on me or anything like that. Just everything's with dumbbells, so um, it's pretty a safe uh, way to work out when you're working out by yourself, and so you don't have to worry about uh, as much injury um, as if you use a straight bar. So anyway, um, I'm gonna get to this workout. I encourage you guys to find something that works for you. Uh, you don't have to start out real heavy right off the bat you know start out light just do something light and get your body used to you know the rhythm of working out and then you can always increase uh, what you do as time goes on just like you know what I did you know I didn't just start out you know doing big heavy weights I couldn't I, I would have torn stuff <laughs> the first week so I just start out light and just work my way into it. And because I had already said in my mind that this was going to be a lifestyle for me, there was no rush uh, to reach a certain goal at a certain time. And that's what messed a lot of people up. They, they put these time limits on themselves. Oh, I got to get into my dress by this time. And, you know, it, it may not be realistic. Okay, you don't know how your body's going to respond to that particular uh, style of workout. Um, it depends on your diet. It depends on how much rest you're getting. All these things, all three, work together to determine uh, what kind of results you're going to get. And so if you're not doing all three effectively, then you may not get the results that you're looking for or in the time frame that you're looking for. Uh, but again, if you go beyond just that goal and make it a lifestyle, then it doesn't matter how long it takes because you know you're going to get there just a matter of time and then once you hit that goal you keep going you don't stop uh, uh, and that's the other mistake people make they reach their goal they celebrate oh I made it you know let's go hit our hop <laughs> to celebrate and uh, and they keep celebrating you know you know folks look at them man should you be eating that man I lost 20 pounds I'm good 
it comes back. I'm telling you, it comes back. I'm 49 years old. Take it for somebody who knows I can't afford to slack off ever. Doesn't mean I, don't, I can't have some cookies or some ice cream here and there. Um, I, had some, I had one cookie uh, earlier today. Had some yesterday. Um, I really, I had a lot <laughs> this weekend. That was my, yesterday was my uh, treat day. So I had ice cream, I had cookies. Uh, but you can't tell, right? You can't tell, you know, the stomach is still, still down, you know, the muscles are still there because this is a lifestyle. And so I'm not going to get thrown off, uh, for one day of, of indulging in some, in some, um, unhealthy food, uh, because that's not my lifestyle, right? So anyway, I've done enough talking over almost six minutes worth of talking. Uh, but I just want to encourage you guys do the one more challenge. And just make it happen, okay? I'm here for you. Just email me, okay? Email me. I'm here. Talk to me, all right? Oh, yeah. Uh. I always got to remember to squeeze on top because that's the key to that, to both of those exercises is the coming back together, squeezing, pulling that chest out, the upper chest. Sometimes I go so fast I forget to squeeze. Oh, and I, and I post a picture of this and since I'm taking a slight break here. This is a very good book. For those of you who like reading books, uh, it's a Christian-based uh, book, but it's very good. And it's not preachy. It's not. Uh, it's really sound uh, principles uh, in this book uh, that I'm going through. This is part of my personal uh, development you know so you can't just I don't just exercise you know I do other things um, you know I'm a stay-at-home dad basically working on building a business and uh, so but I also try to take time out to do a little reading to better myself um, I take time out for entertainment whether it's a good movie uh, so it's a combination of those things also contribute to having a healthy life. 
Um, and I'll be honest with you, you know, today was a little challenging for me today. You know, I also, I also teach on Sundays. I have a, um, a, a Sunday school class that I teach at my church. We have several adult uh, Sunday school classes as well as uh, for the kids, I think from first grade all the way up to sixth grade. And then we had some for the teens as well. So all this is going on uh, simultaneously uh, prior to uh, the Sunday service. So sometimes, you know, I have a good Sunday, and then the very next day, um, <clears throat> I'm just kind of feeling down and a little discouraged, you know. So I was feeling that way <coughs> earlier uh, this morning. Um, but one of the one of the, the uh, benefits for exercising is it helps you to feel better emotionally, because you know there 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 are chemicals that are released in your brain. That, that that stimulate good feelings. Uh, so there's so many benefits to working out. Um, I'm already feeling better. Plus, just talking to you guys, sharing my heart, motivating you, that encourages me uh, to stay on this journey that I've begun two years ago. Uh, because I know people are looking at these videos. They're people who are being inspired and motivated by what I'm doing. Again, I'm not bragging or boasting about anything. I'm just simply showing you what can be done. Um, if a regular guy like me can do it, uh, so can you. Okay, and, you know, and it's just me. I don't have you know a trainer per se. I don't have someone in my corner like motivating me and pushing me. Um, and so you can do it. All right. <clears throat> One extra. shared this in my class and I believe I shared it in previous videos uh, one of the keys to success uh, in any endeavor uh, of course we know hard work uh, it is, is a requirement for success very very few people uh, succeed um, at something and it's easy usually people who 
we deem as successful or wealthy or, and they didn't have to do much, a lot of, a lot of times it's because they inherited uh, money or they, they, they're kind of using the family name and doors are opening for them simply because of their family connection and they're not really working at anything. And so all they have to do is literally go in and put their name on a cologne or a perfume and make all this money. Um, that's, that's not real success. They're succeeding, but it's not the best way to succeed because if something happens to that brand or that product, then they're lost. But the people who have to work hard at becoming successful, even if they fail, they know how to bounce back. They know what it, what it took to get to that place so they can do it again. And so there is a lot to be said about hard work. And so, well, in the midst of that, what has to happen, you have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable, okay? You know, you see me working out and you can probably tell it's uncomfortable. It's, it's, it's causing stress and strain on my body, but the results, developing my muscles, looking the way I look, is worth it for me. So, but in order to get here, I had to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. And you talk to anybody who's successful, especially in the area of uh, 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 fitness and sports, they will tell you, yeah, it's painful, yeah, it's tiring, it's tough. I practice X amount of hours a day, blah, blah, blah. And those are the ones that, that just rock, you know, they knock it out of the park every time because they realize there is no other way. There's, there's just no other way around it. And people who try to find shortcuts with diet pills and drinks and all that stuff, I'm telling you, it doesn't last. It never lasts. You look at, you just follow somebody. Find somebody that does diet pills or some kind of drink and they don't have to exercise or really eat right. Just find one person, whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Just follow that person for a year. And I promise you, that person will lose the weight and inside of a year they will gain all that weight back and usually more because they did not discipline themselves they did not condition their mind and their body to accept that in order for me to get to where I want to be I have to endure uh, some difficulty and get used to enduring that difficulty so I've gotten used to it my body is used to it my mind is used to it so now I am comfortable with being uncomfortable. I am comfortable with being sore, uh, with having aches and pains here and there. I'm very comfortable with it now because I understand those are just signs of hard work and that hard work always pays off. So always remember that, you know, learn to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, okay? And you will accomplish whatever you set your sights on. seem like a lot but it is a lot <laughs> oh my god especially my arm still have a little challenges with my with my left arm it's getting better but it's very slow so uh, and this week I'm switching up my workout so I'm switching the rotation uh, the order in which I do things so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Thank you.
this for the next one.
Big boy stuff. Yep. Thirty-five. Take a break and then to go back down. And another thing I was just thinking about, uh, because, you know, I see people all the time, you know, who are like five times bigger than me, <laughs> you know, and uh, that could be discouraging if you let it. Uh, so that's why whenever you are trying to accomplish something in life, you can't uh, uh, waste your time comparing yourself with someone else or, or comparing your progress with their progress okay because what they're doing may be different uh, their body is different how it responds uh, to exercise will be different um, so uh, just really be careful with that you know don't focus on uh, you know there's nothing wrong with getting ideas from people that are doing things that you're uh, are doing that's important you know you can glean from other people but don't get all tied up into you know into comparing yourself with other people because you're going to discourage yourself uh, the moment you see somebody that is doing better than you um, in that particular area it's going to be discouraging so um, yeah I look at other other guys you know that are into bodybuilding and I see their results and I see how defined they are and, and how bulky they are and I'm like man I want to get there you know but again you can't rush the process especially with bodybuilding it takes time if you do it right if you don't juice if you don't do steroids and all that stuff which is how I'm doing it I'm not using steroids or any other type of growth hormones it's just old school hard work so when you do it that way it takes time but that's okay because it's a lifestyle so be careful don't compare yourself to what someone else is able to accomplish um, because your body is different from their body uh, your body is different from mine and people may look at me and you know not realize it took me two years to get here uh, I had something to start out with um, I had a little bit of muscles to start out with but um, you know, and even you compare me when I started to where I'm now, the growth hasn't been uh, that uh, spectacular or anything. You know, uh, it's more so just losing the fat. <laughs> so when you lose the fat, your muscles going to stand out even more just by slimming down. All right, so I'm out of time. Till next time, God bless you.